My next guest is a 60-year-old woman who says that she's irresistible to 20-something men who want sex with no strings. She's joined a dating website last year and discovered that her age was, in fact, an aphrodisiac to hordes of sexually charged young men. So, she embarked on a year of dating dangerously. To tell us all about it, would you welcome, please, Monica Porter. If you want the body, Well, it's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. And maybe you'd tell us a little bit, uh, I suppose, about, about yourself before we get into the year of dating dangerously, a little yeah, bit of your background. My, my, my backstory. Yeah, a little bit of that. Okay. Um, well, I got married very young. Sure. I was 22. Um, started having a family in my mid-20s. Mm -hmm. So, basically, when everyone else, you know, in their 20s was having a fairly wild time, they were sowing their wild oats and, um, you know, having a lot of fun, um, yeah. I was having a very kind of, you know, domesticated life. You being life. a mom. Yeah, I was being a mom, I was pushing a push chair, and, you know. Yeah. Um, so, so that was that was for me the twenties. The um, then, you know, I had a long marriage. I was married for seventeen years, and uh, you know, I had two sons. Um, and then, you know, the marriage ended. Mm -hmm. um, and then I had a fairly, you know, tricky few years as a single mom, a working single mother. Um, mm. So that that's that's a tough gig. Yes. Um, most people would know. Yes. Um, and, um, and, and also, you know, you, you, not a lot of fun to be had when you're a working yeah. single mom. You, you know, um, so social my life, life is on quite, hold yeah, a bit, isn't it? Social yeah. life is very constrained. Yeah. So again, uh, difficult. Um, then I met my, my partner and then we, um, we moved in together. Yeah. So then I was together with him for 13 years and it was a very, you know, it was, we didn't get married, but it was like a marriage. Sure. Um, so very sort of, you know, um, monogamous, um, you know, committed relationship, but mm. you know, that, that ultimately also failed and so we split up um, it was his choice it wasn't really mine I mean I would have you know I would have stuck with it because even though it wasn't maybe the you know it was a perfect relationship but yeah. I you know I you would have worked thought, it out if yeah, you could have. I thought yeah. probably you know you'll settle for yeah. for that because it did have some good things in it so but anyway it ended and sure. um, just at the point when I was coming up to um, to my 60th birthday yes um, so it was very daunting for me to find myself at that point in my life yes to be that was going to live entirely on my own for the first time yeah. i mean it's a big deal I, yeah i sort of like well how do you how do you do the single life thing yeah. i mean how old well, were your sons yeah. at that point um at that point um yeah they're sort of t uh, 29 and 35 35 and you were uh, you're a journalist uh, yeah. uh, who would have been happy to write articles that were straight shooting articles, you know, weren't hiding behind the door when it comes to telling a story. No. Um, and here you are f confronted with single dumb, if you like, at 60. So why the dating game? Is that, is well, that the Well, I mean, w when I first, when first, you know, this, this happened that I, I, I was on my own again at that stage of my life. I mean, my first instinct was, oh my, my God, I can't do this. I'm, I'm going to go and live in the granny annex with my married son and his lovely family because, well, that'll be great. You know, we'll be like the Waltons and we'll be this big happy family and wow. And then, but as the weeks went by and the sort of some months went by, I realized that actually, you know, I, I can do this. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, I could, that's okay. And then friends persuaded me that perhaps I should do the online dating thing because, you know, at my sort of age, I'm not out partying the whole time. Yeah. I don't go to clubs and, you know, so how do you meet people? And I never thought I would do um, but online you, dating, but but, but yeah, you did. did, and you went online. And just to kind of, to, we'll, I was just going to jump a step because you went online and you found, uh, as a sixty-year-old woman single, that you were attracting uh, widowers, divorcees, and people who just weren't doing it for you. So, so you decided to take a different tack. You went to a younger type of website, but you also um, played with the chronology, shall we say? It took a few years off my age. Right? How many? Which I'm Five, okay, six. So you said now. So now you're a 54 year old, <laughs> yeah. single woman yeah. who's on a younger website. What reaction did you get on this uh, at this approach? Well, I got a lot of you know interest from younger people. I mean, there were some yeah. uh, guys of my own age as well, or maybe a little bit younger, sort of like in their sort of early mid 50s or whatever. But um, but yeah, a lot of young guys, and um, I had no idea that there are so many young guys who are interested in older women. I mean, I always thought this was a bit of a niche interest, you know, yeah. the kind of the cougar scene and that there are some specific websites for that purpose. But I didn't realize that on a very mainstream, just ordinary, big, um